Our Solar PV calculator helps you to meet the system performance requirements of the MCS Installer Standard Guide to the Installation of Photovoltaic Systems easily and professionally. The tool is web-based and can be accessed via the NCRAFT gateway wherever you have access to an internet connection. The tool allows you to specify the system in three ways. By choosing a number of solar panels, by specifying the system power or by specifying the area available for panels. In this example we will choose a solar panel from the database and input the number of panels. If the panel you want to use is not in the list we can add it for you on request. Enter the postcode for the property on which the system is to be installed followed by the panel orientation and the panel inclination. Next, indicate whether these values were measured on-site or estimated remotely. This determines whether to add the recommended MCS disclaimer to the results. Finally, indicate if there is any shading apparent on-site. In this case we will indicate that there is, so then we can complete the shading section. To calculate the shading factor, you can simply input the number of shaded segments from your on-site measurements, or you can use our shading tool to calculate the number of shaded segments and produce a completed horizon chart to include in the results. In this example, we will use the tool to calculate the shading factor for us. You can choose to add rectangular shaped objects or more complex shaped objects, depending on the number of measurements you want to take. There are links to diagrams that help to explain the azimuth and elevation angles. For our first example, we will add a rectangular object that is less than 10 metres away from the centre point of the array. We then input the measured coordinates and from that we calculate the shading. You can see from the chart that as the object is less than 10 metres away from the array, a circle has been drawn around the object at its highest point. The orange shading indicates which segments are being overlapped by the object, and this number is used in the calculation. If we then go back and make the object further away than 10 metres, you can see that the resulting chart includes less segments, so there is no need to draw the circle. Next, we'll add a complex object to show how that works. For the complex object, we again specify the distance from the array and then we input pairs of coordinates from various measured points on the object. You can enter as many pairs of coordinates as you have measured for. You can continue and add as many different objects as you need and the resulting horizon chart will be included in the results. In the financial section you can specify further information about the installation and these inputs are then used to calculate the financial benefits. Whether the building use is domestic or commercial, whether the installation is a retrofit on a new building or standalone, what the estimated on-site electricity usage will be, whether an export meter will be installed, what level of EPC the property has, and whether it is part of a multi-installation. If you know the installation cost, you can also enter it here to override the estimated installation cost based on current prices. In this example, we will leave it empty and use the estimated installation cost. We have entered all of the required information to perform the calculation. So now we click on the Calculate button. The results show the installed capacity, the orientation and inclination of the array, the postcode region and the MCS irradiance zone, the irradiance value for that location and the shading factor, 
the estimated annual electricity output and the roof area required. The financial benefits show the installation cost, the annual cost saving which takes into account the current feed-in tariff and electricity export rate and the payback period. Finally, the results show the CO2 savings that would be made by installing the solar PV system. The results are downloaded to a PDF file which includes your company logo. This report includes all of the results as well as a summary of the inputs and a completed horizon chart if the shading has been calculated using the shading tool. The report also includes the required MCS disclaimers. There are a range of benefits of using this tool. You can quickly perform MCS compliant system performance calculations. You can generate a professional accurate horizon chart for shading objects. You can get an overview of the financial benefits of the system, including the ability to enter your own installation cost data. You can download your company branded report that includes all of the results to present to your customers. You can add your own PV panels to our database so you can use them in the calculations. You can stay up to date. The tool uses our continually updated databases for fit rates, fuel prices and installation and maintenance costs. Email and telephone support is included and free upgrades as the tool is further developed. To purchase a license for the tool please visit gateway.ncraft.co.uk